Navigating crowds and getting into the Garth Brooks concerts at the BOK isn't always easy. It can be a hassle, but a certain segment of the population is reporting more problems than usual. New at 6 tonight, 2 News problem solver Jamil Donath getting answers for the hearing impaired community. Jamil. Well, you know, the Garth Brooks concert here last week isn't when these issues started. Many hearing impaired in Oklahoma across the state say going to a show at the BOK is a serious struggle. And the Garth Brooks show was just the last straw. It was supposed to be an enjoyable experience, but for Glenna Cooper, going to the Garth Brooks concert in Tulsa was a nightmare. Here at BOK, it just seems to be a, a constant struggle. Being deaf, Cooper buys tickets for a special section for the hearing impaired, but she says going to a show at the BOK has been difficult for the deaf community. It's all been building up, and then finally people just started venting after the Garth Brooks concert. If you are deaf and buy a ticket online, you have to personally go to the BOK to exchange it for special seating, even if you live outside Tulsa. Hearing people don't have to do that. I mean, they order them online, they get them, and it's done. Normally, seating for the hearing impaired is close to the stage, but at the BOK, it's in the back, a bad location for a sign language interpreter, as you can see in Cooper's photo at the Garth Brooks concert. Why should we pay a lot of money to go in and then have to take care of these arrangements? It's very awkward. After trying to work with the BOK with little success, Glenna contacted the two news problem solvers. We went to work to get answers. A BOK spokesperson says the ticket exchange is to prove the person's identity because you can't ask if a person is disabled online. And the seating was following fire code. But after we contacted the BOK, they emailed Glenna to set up a meeting to go over okay, these I'm issues down, so. with the deaf community. Plus, the BOK tells us they are changing the process to buy deaf tickets. So we're thrilled that uh, we can get this information and go forward. Now, the BOK to also tells us that how they're going to make this new change is that now all of their venues will accept tickets for deaf seating without having to do that exchange, which is a big deal. And then also, the deaf community is working right now with the BOK to set up an appropriate time for everyone to have that meeting and go over some of the other issues. Live in downtown Tulsa, Jamil Donath, 2 News Works for you.